Hey Cameron here with the Sea Butters Tech Channel. Today we are taking a look again at the Pico 4. And what we're looking at today is a few different options on uh, some third, par third party uh, 3D printed adapters. Now, um, we, I've had uh, some people send me over these designs and I actually uh, designed this one and they add some benefits over the stock gasket in terms of both field of view, but also potentially comfort. Um, I was a fan of even using the Pico 4 without a gasket because the field of view just opens up so much when you do that. And that's kind of what these are about, increasing field of view uh, while not being super uncomfortable. <laughs> because the stock gasket, I mean, if you compare the stock gasket to, I mean, this design, right here uh, you can see you're going to be able to get your eyes much closer to the lens and even uh, my design as well uh, gets you in there much closer you can see uh, well I don't know if you can see that super well but you, the field of view is greatly enhanced with these devices now the first one I'm going to talk about for a minute is this one and at the end of this video I'll show you how to 3d print and um, assemble both of these devices because there is a little bit of assembly involved, a little bit of DIY. Um, but this one, the design is pretty neat because uh, when you're 3D printing, usually get with face gaskets, it's really hard to print those without using supports, which makes the print a little more difficult. There's a lot more cleanup, but this design uh, that I've made here has uh, a slice in it that allows you to not only open it up and put magnets inside, uh, but also it makes it so you can print both sides of this. It comes in three pieces, but it allows you to uh, print all those without having to use supports, uh, which makes it super nice, super easy, and the magnets are definitely a must. Both of these designs have magnets in them. So this one is really cool. Um, I will show you a test fit in a second. Uh, but this next one that we're talking about uh, was designed by RaxMD, a viewer on my channel. He reached out to me and said, I have a really cool design. I saw how you were talking about you use the Pico 4 all open. Um, and I had talked about 3D printing this on one of my videos, and he said, hey, I've been working on this too. So this is his design, and it's really nice because uh, it uses the in-the-box, I think this is the glasses adapter, but he uh, was really smart and uh, decided to implement that into his design and uh, it just snaps right on here, super tight. I mean, that thing is almost hard to, to pull off um, at this point. And it has a little forehead curvature that fits right on the head. So let's test fit some of these um, and I'll show you the differences in the two designs. So first of all, uh, here's, here's my design. And this is nice because it will uh, drop right in with the magnets. Um, and if we put it on here, you can see that it covers all of the top area. This is very similar to a Quest Pro, very, a very similar feel to a Quest Pro, other than it's much more comfortable because <laughs> there's a lot more surface area on this thing. Uh, the Quest Pro, you can get used to it and you can get some new pads now and it's, it's a little more comfortable, but... Uh, the feel of this feels like Quest Pro in terms of the visual and the fact that you leave the bottom open. Now, I was surprised with the Quest Pro when it was open like this. Um, I found I actually really liked it. Um, I like it because the sense of presence is greater because when you're holding your hands up like this, you can literally see your hand and your arm and your shoulder. Uh, you almost feel in the game more when you have it set up like this in my... Yeah, I mean, that's my opinion perhaps, but I really like that. Not only that, but your your uh, lenses never hardly fog up. You pay, play a lot of Beat Saber, you can get your lenses fogging up, especially when you're increasing the field of view by putting the lenses closer to your body, which heat it up. You know, on a cold day, it can get that condensation. With this open air below, not only does it not press on your cheekbones at all, which is great for comfort and for not having, you know, those lines, um, but uh, I mean, it's it's just feels very comfortable open airy the other nice thing about this design is the fact that uh, it still has a pretty wide across the forehead and on your cheekbones which provides a lot of support um, this has your eyes almost right on top of the lenses but not touching um, 
at least with my nose. Uh, but it's you can move your head quickly still with this, and it's not going to go anywhere. It really attaches firmly to your head. So let's test fit um, this one here. The I guess I'm going to call it the the Rax MD adapter, and this is also very nice in that it is super. Um, I mean, it's very lightweight. It brings the lenses off your face. If you wore this uh, Pico 4 without uh, any gasket at all, you find that the lenses just press up against your nose, and you're you're basically firming it up against the bridge of your nose, which is not super comfortable. Um, but it, it is very open. That's I, I don't necessarily like it open on the top, personally, and this has some open areas here. And the reason I don't like that is because you get glare, and I have lots of overhead lights. So um, I get hit what he was going for was to keep this super open. Uh, and that's fine. It, you know, it does feel like a pair of spectacles in that you can see, you know, almost the entire edge of your view, which is good uh, if you like it on the top. I would have rather seen this completely enclosed personally, though, um, just because there is some light glare that goes in. Um, the other thing uh, with this particular one is it does get you the maximum amount of FOV, FOV you could possibly have because it gets you completely up on those lenses. Uh, but the problem I, I have with that is if you look at the curvature of this, not everybody's going to have a one-size-fits-all curve or depth. Um, not to mention, uh, you have to kind of make your own pad for this. I mean, I guess I did on mine as well. Uh, but, I mean, this is a great fit for someone who wants it to be completely open, wants it as lightweight as possible without being super uncomfortable. Um, because it is, it is quite comfortable. Um, but I would say that the downside I see is when you shift your head quickly, there's no side support, so I do get a little bit of uh, issue with it kind of bouncing around a little bit. If you really tighten it down, you can minimize that, but I can still feel it kind of bouncing on the bridge of my nose slightly with that. So um, I think it's definitely a really great design. Some people really like the super openness, super lightweightness of this one, but I do prefer um, my design here in that it just keeps it uh, attached on your head quite a bit better. Um, it's not going anywhere when I have this on, but yet yeah, still keeps an open area on the bottom. And the, the bottom areas are what I care about seeing. You know, my, I can see my keyboard easily if I'm working with it. Um, but I don't, I don't see any benefit personally to keeping the top open other than maybe some airflow. But uh, anyways, they're both really great. Uh, I'd recommend kind of playing around with them if you are interested and have a 3D printer. So uh, that's kind of how you can maximize your comfort, your FOV, and uh, you can always play around with these designs and modify them yourself. So that's kind of the cool thing. Uh, in the next part of the video, I'm going to show you how I printed and assembled both of these gaskets. Uh, so if you're interested in that, stick around. If not, uh, that's kind of the video, but um, well, yeah, if you're gonna be 3D printing this yourself, upcoming is the assembly instructions. Okay, so here are the pieces once they've been printed out. And there's some holes for the magnets to go into before you glue it in with super glue. So what you want to do, here are the magnets, is you want to make sure that the magnets are facing the correct way. So for example, um, this, this piece I've already inserted the magnet, and we know it's going to go right here on the device and you can see that the magnet's sticking, so it's in the right way. So you want to have it oriented the right way. So if you take your magnet and then make sure, okay, that's the downside. Uh, so therefore, we can place it in this hole uh, with the right orientation. So just make sure to do that. So then what you're gonna do is try to get this piece pushed down through there uh, while also using the super glue 
and uh, I'm going to need two hands for that. So uh, just be careful, and uh, <laughs> it should go right into place. And I actually have that on the wrong side, so you want to have it on this side. Yeah, so we'll try to get that in, get the super glue in at the same time, and then hopefully the magnets will just be built right into the thing. Okay, so that's one side done. Uh, the magnets really help you line that up perfectly. And I've just been putting a dab of super glue on all the open areas, and then uh, make sure you hold it down for a few seconds uh, once you have it in, and it's working really well. Okay, so that glued really nicely. Um, and you can see that it now snaps in there and stays um, where my prototype one didn't have the magnet holder and it kind of just flops around. So the next step, uh, here's my prototype one, uh, is to put Velcro tape on this and then we'll just pull this pad off. This pad is from a Gear VR. Um, you can use any pad you want. You just have to trim it to fit. And then we'll take a look at how well it works. Okay, so there we have it installed. And this, uh, by the way, is a modification of uh, someone else's high field of view. And I really like the way that uh, the bottom is open on the Quest Pro. And so I decided to, to you know, modify this design, not only to hold magnets better, uh, but to make printing easier and uh, make it so you can see out the bottom very easily uh, for work purposes. So you can look down at your keyboard just a bit easier. And this high field of view is just amazing. So, uh, but this does cover up the top uh, to make sure no light comes in from the top, which when I was using this just without a gasket, it was you know kind of annoying that way. This is super comfortable, super high field of view. Um, and the top strap really keeps it really light on your head. So I really like this solution. It feels great. This next adapter is pretty ingenious because it snaps onto the, I don't know if this is an eyeglass extender, but this comes with, with the Pico in the box and it snaps right onto it. And then that snaps right onto here. And that actually, is pretty neat. Um, so the only thing with this one is you need to attach some sort of padding. The author used some insole. I'm going to be using this sticker backed uh, foam padding and we'll see how that goes. And with that done, uh, this foam is actually really, I think it's going to feel nice, basically. Um, whether that's going to irritate my skin or not, that might be another issue, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So this just straps on like this and I'll play around with it for a bit and see how it feels. Okay, so okay, so these are our custom 3D printed gaskets and I'm just giving you a shot here so you can kind of compare uh, what they look like next to the stock gasket. Uh, again, the th links to printing these are in the description. Uh, both Rex MD and the C Butters one. Uh, they're both pretty cool. Take a look. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments. I'm sure the author of this one, who is a viewer of this channel, would be interested in more people trying it out and letting him know what they think. And uh, thank you to the original author of this uh, that I edited. Uh, it's listed in the remix page uh, where I remixed this one from. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.